When we talk about Beats, most of us will think it's a very fashionable brand. Lots of Hollywood stars and NBA stars are their loyal supporters. The Beats brand logo B has been seen as a symbol of trends for a long time. Recently, Beats launched its first truly wireless noise cancelling earphones. It's pretty impressive as soon as we get it in our hands. The packaging continues the Beats classic style with a white and red logo on the black background. The red earphones is in the middle and very eye-catching. It will have 5 hours of battery life under ANC mode, and it can be used up to 8 hours under standard mode. Surprisingly, it can support Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, and Android at the same time. Android phone users can also enjoy the similar experience to Apple users. This headphone also has active noise cancellation and transparency mode. Open the packaging, there are earphones, a USB-C cable, two additional ear tips, some manuals and Beats logo stickers. The shape of charging case is oval, and it adopts Type-C port. The charging case can provide 16 hours of battery life. It supports fast charging, you can get 1 hour listening time after 5 minutes of charging. Open the charging case, the earphone adopts in-ear design, and the size is very small. There is a Bluetooth button in the charging case, and there are two pogo pins on both sides. There is a physical button on both sides, which supports multiple control gestures, such as single-click, double-click, triple-click, etc. This is feed-forward microphone. This is a speaker with dust-proof mesh. You can see that there is a feedback microphone inside. After reviewing this product, let's start to tear it down. Firstly, it's the charging case. Use a sponge to pry along the gap after heating, and then carefully separate the upper and lower parts slowly. The bottom components are connected to the small board in the headphones holder through an FBC cable and BDB connector. The small board is fixed by four screws and exactly presses the elastic metal plate of the charging contacts. There is a magnet at the opening of the case lid to attract it. The pogo pins are welded to the elastic metal plate and then the elastic metal plate is fixed on a plastic bracket. There are two large magnets to fix the earphones when charging. Disconnect the PCB and continue to disassemble. Remove the four screws that are fixing the small board, and then heat with a heat gun to remove this small board. There are micro switch and hole element on it. It can sense the magnetic field changes when the charging case cover is opened or closed. Then it will notify the control chip of the charging case to connect instantly. There is a silicon pad around the button for waterproof. A plastic bracket of the charging case is used to fix the battery and motherboard. The battery is connected to the motherboard through cable and connector. Remove the battery and it comes from A-Power Electronics. Model is AEC701346. Its limit charging voltage is 4.35 volts. Radio voltage is 3.8 volts, and radio capacity is 400 mAh, 1.52 watts hour. There is a protection board at the end of the battery, which is responsible for the overcharge, overdischarge, and overcurrent protection of the battery. The thermistor can cooperate with protection board to detect a battery temperature. There is also a lithium battery protection IC from Mitsumi. Continue to remove those four screws that fix the bracket. Take out the bracket and PCB. There is an orange rubber ring for dustproof and waterproof on the Type-C receptacle port. All components on the motherboard are covered by black glue. It can protect the components and keep the chip secret. But the specification is not visible as well. Ok, the next one will be earphones. Just the same thing. We can use the spider to slowly open it after heating. The components on the back side are connected to the motherboard through FPC cable, VDB, and RF connectors. A large amount of transparent glue is used to seal the joint between the feed-forward microphone and the shell. And then let's see the button side and open it. There is a micro switch and call microphone in here. The coaxial cable is connected to the Bluetooth antenna and fixed by transparent glue. The physical button is on the left, and the protective cover for the call microphone is on the right. The speaker unit, battery, and motherboard are all placed aslant in the front side and connected by an FPC cable, which can make full use of the internal space. There is an isolation layer between the battery and the motherboard. Remove the motherboard. The biggest chip on the motherboard is Bluetooth control chip, which comes from MediaTek MT2821A and is customized by Beats. Another chip is the low-power audio DSP for active noise cancellation, 
which comes from Sirius Logic CS47L66 and is also customized by Beats. Take out the battery, which is fixed in transparent plastic. This button battery comes from Mike Power New Energy Model S M1254S2. Its diameter is 12 mm, thickness is 5.4 mm, and radio voltage is 3.7 volts. This is a curved magnet used to attract the charging case. Take out the speaker unit. There is also a MEMS microphone next to it to collect the sound in ear canal for noise cancellation. Okay, that will be all components inside the Beats Studio Buds earphones. Beats Studio Buds earphones continue its own classic design. The charging case is oval, easy to carry and hold. As for internal structure, it adopts the MediaTek MT2821A as the mask control chip and USB-C port, which means that this Beats headphone is not just for Apple users, but for the entire market, including Android users. Therefore, no matter what device you're using, you can enjoy this cost-effective product. Its current price is only $149.99 on Amazon. You can check link in the description to buy it. This is 52 Audio. We will always bring the tear down of audio-related products. If you want to see more like this, please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. See you next time.